Oh, look at that. There, there you go. go. And they love whatever that spinner bait is. You're He's kicking her ass. I know, dude. I got, <laughs> I got one fish all day. Hey, welcome back. This is part two of my trip to Arkansas. I'm fishing North Fork Lake with my friend Rob and our guide Chad. Today we're chasing largemouth bass. We start off the morning way back in a cove that's normally dry land. The lake's up a little bit and there's fresh water coming back here. This created a flooded flat. It's about two to three feet deep, lots of brush. So we're throwing top water early in the morning trying to get these fish to come off of that cover and come hit that top water bait. There he is. There you go. Oh, I like that sound. Suck it on the water. Yes, sir. Those bass are holding pretty tight to the brush, so we bring our lures right down beside it to give ourselves the best chance of calling that bass out with that top water bait. They sound like injured bait fish or small birds or frogs trapped on the surface of the water. And sometimes those bass just can't resist. And he was right where he's supposed to be, wasn't he? And this ended our top water bite for the day, which is pretty normal. As the day brightens up, the sun creates shadows on the back side of the brush and the water can warm up. So the fish then move to the shady side of the structures and they might even move deeper. But what you can just about guarantee is they'll change what they're biting. There you go. When the top water bites shut down, we figured out they were biting spinner baits. And that's what we did the rest of the day. Yep. Oh, fish number two for June. One of the best pieces of cover on a lake is the bank. So always try to get that bait to land right at the edge of the water. In this case, I overshot a little bit. A couple of handle cranks, and he smacked it. We fished our way out of that cove and ran to another one. And this new cove had more water running into it, and so it actually had some current. Chad starts us off by throwing in the shallow water up there and drags a nice fish out of it. Then I make a couple of follow-up casts to see if there's anything behind it. Well, there's another one right behind him. <laughs> oh, get over there. Come on, climb it. Look at him climb that tree. Look at him climb the tree. <laughs> There you go. Hell yeah. There you go, Jim. As I stated earlier, it's getting brighter, and those fish are tucking in close to the shadows. And Chad pulls this one out from under that mat. These bass are predators, and they need the shadows to hide from the bait fish that they're trying to ambush. Take these to train. You can't see it, but there's a bush underwater right there. I dragged the spinner back through there, and this fish just hammered it. Come on, buddy. You tear my spinner bait up. Chad gets another one. Look closely right there where the fish comes up. There is a mud line there. The fresh water is pushing dirt and silt off the bank into the water. And that fish was hanging right on the edge of that mud line. Stuck in the ground, right beside my head. Nice fish. Stick in the ground. Yeah, stick to live a tree. Be fearless with that bait. Put it in the bushes. Drag it through that thick cover. You'll be surprised what it can come through, especially a spinner bait. They're surprisingly weedless, and it makes a difference. There you go. <laughs> I hope I got on camera because that was pretty cool. Come right up. He come up over a limb, swam back down and caught the spinner with a spinnerbait. Pretty fish. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty, isn't he? Yeah, beautiful. Oh look, he's got some beauty marks on him. Yeah, he does. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Reel it over that boulder. Yeah. Smacked it. And I got to see him hit it. Whew. <laughs> ah. 
I could see with these polarized sunglasses that there was a boulder embedded in the ground just off the bank. So I knew that was a prime target. So I threw right above it, pulled that spinner bait across the top of it, and that bass darted over there and just smashed it. Oh, look at that. There you go. Man, they love whatever that spinner bait is. Here He's is, kicking man. her ass. I know, dude. Man. I got I got one fish all day. He's kicking <laughs> our asses. Good job, man. Oh yeah. Hey. There he is. I got one. Welcome. Hey, hey Jim, you gotta you gotta leave me some big ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the back of the boat. What do you mean, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know, you were doing good out the back even when we were white bass fishing this year up at Carlisle or last year. You got him. You got him. There we go. We you got did, me around the tree. You didn't see him come up and get it? No, I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Days like this remind me, be fearless. Put that lure out there, put it in the brush. You'd be surprised what you can pull a crankbait or a spinnerbait through. Well, I guess that skirt don't matter, does it? <laughs> These bass have eaten the skirt and most yeah, of the paint did, off of this spinnerbait. Either that or a or something. Nice looking little fish. Thank you, sir. When I started the day, this spinnerbait had a full skirt on it, and most of the paint was still on it, and that was a brand new swim bait tail. I had a great time fishing with Rob and Chad. I really enjoyed the lake and the company. After I left, Rob stayed a couple more days, and he caught several good fish. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your support. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I publish a video. And as always, go outside, see something beautiful, and share it with someone.